This episode of Pen Point starts right now. This episode of Pen Point is brought to you by Gamefly. Go to www.gamefly.com slash pen for your free trial membership. I'm going to do something that I guess is just uh, self-serving. Uh, I'm, uh, th- I'm going to read you something that someone sent us uh, uh, that's just wonderful and uh, makes me feel great. And it, okay, I'm just gonna read it. Um, this is a uh, a note, an email that uh, Randy, Amazing Randy, our mentor and hero. If it weren't for Amazing Randy, there'd be no pen and teller. This person wrote this note to um, uh, him, and then asked him to forward it to us. And I'm gonna read the whole thing for you, because to me it's mind blowing, and to me this is something that seems impossible that it could happen, and uh, and it did. <clears throat> Dear Mr. Randy, this letter is for Penn and Teller also, but finding an email for them was beyond me. All I will say about my life is that I was raised that card reading was okay. At a young age, I was taught, reel in your fish and feel no guilt. It was a laugh and a joke. I made money and had no illusions as to my mystical abilities. I was a phenomenal cold reader. I found Penn and Teller's bullshit and started to watch. When I saw the episode of the man wanting to talk to his dead mother, I felt ashamed. It was suddenly not so funny. I was screwing with people who didn't have the capacity to make the right decision. My cash cows were people who had losses in bad times and I had been merciless. I stopped. And when people still call, I tell them the truth and take the cussing out as I deserve it. I commend you for your organization I have stopped, enrolled in college, and will never hurt people again. I want Penn and Teller to know their show changed my life and stopped me. Ignorance breeds this, and thank you for shining a light of knowledge. And then it's signed um, a woman's name, and uh, her email address uh, contains remnants of uh, her former life. It's kind uh, kind of a mystical name in her email address. You know, you do a show like bullshit, and uh, you try to make it funny, and you try to get it on the next season, and you put in tits, and you put in fuck, and you go over the scripts and say, you know, well, we don't look right here, we don't look right there, and you end up with all your time involved in, in showbiz, and that's what it should be. And then somewhere in the back of your mind, I mean, when, you, when the hours go long, But I I don't want to say that because we're so grotesquely overpaid for everything we do that we don't even really work, you know. Uh, I've known people who have jobs and we don't have jobs. We we may put in a long day now and again, but it's always an easy day and we are very well compensated for everything we do and always have been. I have no complaints about that. But you know, you sometimes do kind of say, I'm doing a stupid TV show and we write stupid jokes and, you know, we say stuff like cunt pickle and that's a big laugh and we bring out, you know, naked people and parade them around and that's what we do. And then you find people who were scammed by somebody and saw our show and realized it was a scam and are no longer scammed. And it makes you feel pretty great. You know, you feel feel pretty wonderful when that happens. But a letter like this, you know, this is, uh, we did eight seasons of bullshit. I believe this is the only letter we've got from someone who was a perp who decided that from our show they were no longer going to rip off people. Now, I don't know if this is real. I mean, being a skeptic, you know, I, I did I did write her a note and got another note back. and It was very sweet and very nice. But I don't know. You know, it could be someone just pulling my chain. I never know what amazing Jonathan's doing. He could be fucking with me. This could be setting me up for some long-range practical jokes. There's one thing amazing Jonathan can do. It's the it's the long con on pl- practical jokes. But it made me feel good, you know? And yes, I do it for the money. And yes, I do it for the fame. But you know, I also kind of sort of uh, dream and hope that maybe something we say somewhere does some good. And even getting a letter, even, I mean, getting a letter like this from someone, if, it's, if it is what it claims, 
that um, that we changed uh, her life. Uh, wow. And of course, she she wrote the letter to Randy, and it's crediting Randy's organization. And everything does, you know, in, in our life come from Randy. So if you haven't checked out uh, Randy, R-A-N-D-I dot org, or just look up the James Randy Educational Foundation. But uh, that's a letter, so maybe, you know, maybe Penn and Teller's bullshit isn't just bullshit. You know, that's, that's what I hope now and again. <laughs> I don't know. Gamefly is the largest online video game rental service and offers you a choice from over 7,000 new and classic titles across all consoles and handhelds. With plans starting at $15.95 a month, Gamefly members can rent one to four games at a time and keep them for as long as they like. There are no late fees, no due dates, and shipping is always free. Once you're done playing a game, send it back and Gamefly will send you the next available game on your list. If you really like the game you're playing, simply click Keep It on the Gamefly website and the game is yours at a discounted price. Gamefly will even mail you the case and manuals free of charge. Penpoint fans get a 15-day free trial when they go to www.gamefly.com slash pen. That's www.gamefly.com slash pen. Because we're on Penpoint.